Hey you guys, it's me Kiana coming at you today and I'm coming at you, I'm showing you my meal, um, one of my meals. Um, this is a side dish but I'm showing it because a lot of people don't know about this. So hopefully this can help you. Um, this is equivalent to what you would have with home fries. What I did to add or to bump up a little bit of flavor, I added some diced onion as well as some uh, red and green peppers. I sauteed that and you can use this method for whatever you would like when you would fix like uh, maybe meat and potatoes or beef and potatoes or something like that this is what you would use a replacement for that for you low carb sisters out there guess what this is you guys this is radishes yes radishes and at my asian market you can get a bag of radishes for like 59 cents regular price every day so um i took like a quarter of a bag believe it or not this is a quarter of a bag it just looks like a lot because you dice it up with the peppers and you know I try to add vegetables to basically trick myself into thinking I have more than what I really do have <laughs> and like I told you guys you remember the video I said you have to treat abnormal behavior with abnormal uh, methods uh, because you can't treat abnormal behavior or abnormal thinking uh, with normal way of thinking it doesn't work Sometimes you have to get crazy to conquer crazy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so this is equivalent to like home fries. You can put this inside of your wraps as well. Like if you have a breakfast wrap or something, you could put a few of these inside of your wrap and it make you think that you eat potatoes. Trust me, you guys, this is a awesome substitute. Radishes have like a pungent taste to it. Um, kind of like not really hot, like spicy, but kind of it is. So um, once you saute it and let it soften all the way, you guys, trust me, it does not taste the same as raw radishes. So this is a winner. Think about those stews and things like that you may want to fix. You know we can have beef and stuff like that because there's no carbs in that. So what about throwing some radishes down in that? You know, and then you have your traditional roast beef with the currants. So... Um, I like to add a little bit of sour cream on the side. It makes me think like I'm having potatoes, like, you know, a baked potato. And I just added a little container of sour cream on the side. And this is a wonderful lunch. So not only you could fix it like this, but I'm giving you the basic, the meat and potatoes, so to speak, of how to use these radishes and incorporate it as a substitute for potatoes in any dish. The key is to make sure you saute it till it's very tender. Okay, um, and you can also use a little bit of leftover bacon grease and that just punches it up to another level. So this is something that you probably didn't think about. Trust me, when I'm giving you these recipes, trust me, they're obviously one of my favorites, something I use all the time because I wouldn't give it to you unless I did. So um, try this recipe. You always try all my recipes. Try this, you guys, and promise you, if you are used to one without potatoes, this is like the closest thing. So, and it looks similar to potatoes. So, all right, you guys, just wanted to give you this video, and I thank you for tuning in. Go hard or go home, you guys. You know we have an agenda. Make sure you have tunnel vision. You know I'm doing a countdown for my surgery. I have about 30 days left. Um, December the 10th is coming up right around the corner, you guys. I'm very excited. Um, and, yeah, so I have tunnel vision. I don't see anything else. I've been doing that for a while, and I hope that you get to that point as well because when you have tunnel vision your goal is obtainable It's you can see it you can touch it you can feel it you can taste it um so i have nothing but tunnel vision so i hope that you have that as well on that note go hard or go home love you all so much be blessed